Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. So we've done lots of eye makeup looks, a full look, but today I just really want to show you how to get like the perfect base on your face. So I'm going to show you some tricks and tips that I know and what I do to help my um, foundation and my bronzer and my highlighter and all that to just stick perfectly, to stay all day, to look flawless all day. Um, so I hope you get a few little tips and tricks out of this and I hope it helps you with your makeup application and if you really enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and keep watching. So the first thing I like to do is use some primer on my skin just to prepare my foundation and just to help it stick to my skin so I just apply like a pea size onto my fingers, warm it up between my hands and apply it all over the face. Then we go into choosing the perfect foundation. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the right shade and the right type of foundation for your skin tone. As you can see there are combination oily and normal and dry. There are so many different combinations. So after choosing the right type of foundation you want to choose the right shade. So I just like to pop a little bit of each colour onto my cheek and then match that into my chest. Don't match it to your neck because your neck actually doesn't really get any sun so it's always going to be paler than your face and your chest. You can kind of see what shades already just melt into the skin so you just want to choose that one, one that's not too light, too dark, too pink, too yellow for your skin. And then you want to choose the right applicator so you have a sponge that you can use and then you can go into your brushes so this one is a flat kabuki brush and then the other one is like a more rounded kabuki brush I personally use all three of these depending on the day and what is clean I'm going to apply half the face with a brush and then the other half with the sponge so when you pop your foundation on the back of your hand warm it up with your brush and then apply it onto your face I like to apply my foundation in circular motions going out and down. This way none of my little hairs on my face that we all have and sometimes have a love-hate relationship with, uh, they're not going to stand up if you um, drag the foundation down. If you go up, you're actually going to stand all them little hairs up and you're not going to get a smooth application or base. So just remember, out and down is always the best way. Remember to drag over your ears and blend any excess down into your neck and chest just so you aren't too toned you don't get that line around your jaw and then afterwards I'll just pat in a little bit with the excess just to give it a bit more smoother finish if you do get any lines when you use your brush. Now onto the sponge. So I like to use a damp sponge you can um, squeeze it under some water or use some setting spray and you like to apply it in a dabbing motion this way you just know that you're getting a smooth finish it's kind of like the same thing that I was doing at the end with the brush just um, tapping it into the skin this way you're not going to get any lines it's going to apply nice and even with a beauty blender I think it's a little bit more work a little bit more tedious so if you are in a rush then definitely go for a brush instead of a beauty blender but if you want a bit more of a full coverage and have the time to use it then definitely go in and tap away with the beauty blender concealer time so you want to go two shades lighter than your foundation this is just going to help brighten up any areas that you would like so I like to apply it in a little bit of a triangle underneath my eye kind of dragging it out just past your eye almost to your, the end of your brow and um, then do that on the same side and then I like to apply a little bit down the bridge of my nose a little bit of um, some concealer on my forehead and then on my chin. You kind of just want to use it where you know that it's going to brighten up your face when you're looking directly on and the sun hits. So I'm going to blend that out with a smaller kabuki brush. This just helps to melt the, uh, the concealer into the foundation. I just make sure that you blend out any of the edges because you don't want to have two clear shades um, sitting on top of each other. You want it to all melt and blend. 
blend into each other. This is the perfect tip. So just make sure that you keep blending it out until you can't see any lines or the difference between the concealer and the foundation. time you have your pressed powder, some translucent powder and some mineral powder. I like to use the translucent powder on my damp sponge just pressing it under my eyes into where I pop the concealer. I don't really bake that much but I do like to just pop a little bit of um, powder over there just to really melt that concealer into the powder and set it stopping from any creasing. This is just gonna give a bit more of a better finish. Then I like to just use the pressed powder and go over the rest of my face with my powder brush. This one's just a big fluffy brush. So I just like to use some patting, circling, very light touch over the top of my liquid foundation. This is just going to help set it, um, stop any creasing or um, in summer stops it from just sliding off my face. Um, I just like to again go down woods with my application so I know that I'm not going to get any of them little hairs sticking up. Make sure that you do blend it out because you don't want little patches of powder sitting in your hairs. You kind of want it to just all melt together, blend seamlessly. for some bronzing and highlighting. So these are my bronzers. I'm actually going to use my Napoleon bronzer. When you apply your bronzer, you want to go from about the corner of your ear down to the corner of your mouth in that general direction. You don't want to blend it all the way down, but you can see that most of my product is towards the outer of my face and I'm just blending it down. Again, kind of going downwards in my application. And then I just like to blend a little bit of excess up onto my temple and then I will apply a little bit onto my forehead after. You can see the difference that it makes. Just gives a little bit of definition and a little bit more depth into your skin. So now I'm applying a little bit onto the forehead and just blends all together. Just gives a bit more of a defined shape. Again, like I said, a little bit more depth. So just blending it down to the other side. And then I will add a little bit onto my jawline. I just like how it kind of defines my jaw a little bit better. I get um, comments all the time that I look like I've lost weight, but it's really just because I like to apply some bronzer to give a little bit more shape to my face. I'm not a very big blush girl, but I'm just applying a little bit of the Napoleon Mosaic blush just right onto the apples of my cheek, barely any at all, and just blending that outwards into my bronzer. Highlighters! Hashtag Lou Cosmetics coming to you very soon. So I'm just using my little um, tapered brush with some setting spray. This just helps to get a little bit more pigment onto your face. So I'm just going to use that bit of a champagne colour and you just want to apply it onto your high points of your face where the sun's going to hit. How good does that look? And then I'm applying a little bit on the tip of my nose across the bridge of my mouth and a little bit on my chin. So now I'm just taking a lighter foundation on the back of my damp sponge and I'm just going to blend the edges of my neck into my chest because I, my tan is fading a little bit I just want to make sure that it is all blending and it doesn't look like I've got a darker face and neck to my chest. Sometimes this happens because of oxidization. And then we're going to set the face with some finishing spray and this one is by Astralis. It just helps to set my makeup all day and doesn't melt off. So there you go guys, finished perfect base. Hope you